coming right there. Hey guys, Imri with Tactical Rifleman here. So after our little CQB video we did, the one man room clearing, I wanted to share a little piece about doing sweeps across the door, okay? So what a sweep is, is as I'm coming up to the door, right? Sometimes, especially if I'm by myself, I'm typically gonna wanna slice this pie, right? So sometimes as I'm going around, I'm actually gonna opt to go and do a sweep across the door. That means I'm, I'm moving all the way across the door and as you get good at this, you can start shooting into that doorway as you're sweeping across, okay? Now, this stuff works. You don't wanna use it every time, right? You wanna have a bunch of tools in your tool bag so you can choose what to do based on what you feel in the room, okay? That's something you can't really teach. You just have to practice it, right? You have to practice what you perceive to be the threat level inside the room. We've done a lot of testing with this too in the shoot house with uh, force on force. I've had two guys in there uh, pointing guns at the door and then they know which door I'm coming in from. They know exactly when I'm coming in. We made it so that they can see my shadow approaching. And so sometimes, uh, sometimes as I start doing my, uh, my pie here, I'll just sweep across once, uh, you know, a good indicator, for example, is as I'm slicing the pie, if I'm slicing well and they can't see me yet because I'm behind concealment here, right? I might get a glimpse of an elbow or something, right? So that means that I see him before he sees me. In that case, I can decide on the fly that I'm gonna sweep across that doorway and plug that guy as many times as I can as I sweep. So here are a couple notes on sweeps. We've already done the pie stuff, I won't go over that. I'll do this with a rifle and a pistol, okay? So on my sweep, what I want is I need to have steady footing, okay? My feet need to be nice and steady and I'm gonna keep my feet moving in the direction um, across this doorway, okay? So my upper body is gonna be like a tank turret. That's what's rotating and keeping my rifle or my pistol on my target. So I'll show you now, Guys, when you learn this, start dry. Do dry practice, do it over and over and over again until you're so bored with it because you've done it a billion times, okay? That's when you can start moving up into doing this live fire on the range. So as I come up to this door, okay, I'm gonna dig that opposite corner. I'm looking into the opposite side of the doorway trying to maximize the room that I've already cleared before I start my work back the other way in the button hook direction. All right, so I'm gonna put my, my muzzle behind the door, okay? Don't want it here because then everybody knows I'm there, right? My muzzle's behind the door. My feet are pointing in at the wall and I'm gonna start my squeezes. Guys, super important, keep this elbow in. Elbow out, that means these guys can see me from this angle, okay? So keep your elbow in. I'm gonna start squeezing. Start squeezing at whatever point I decide to make that sweep, okay? Notice my feet. My feet are gonna point in the other direction and my upper body is gonna be shooting my target. Once I get here, I'll dig that opposite corner and then I can clear the rest of this doorway. Okay, so that was dry. I'm gonna load up. I'll show you guys how to do this hot and then I'll do it from the other direction as well, okay? I'll start with rifle. All right, eyes and ears. So I'm coming up to the doorway. I'm digging that opposite corner. I'll start my slice and now I'm gonna decide to go across this doorway. Now I can start slicing back here. Now for the range, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back and forth and back and forth, nice and slow. Start this slow like molasses, okay? You don't have to hurry. Your speed will build up. Let's look at my shots a second. Okay, they're both pretty good center mass shots. Let's do this again. Coming up to the doorway, I'm gonna dig the opposite corner, start my slicing. Now I'm gonna move. So that's the basic concept of a sweep. All right, so this can also be done with just a pistol, okay? So now we'll do it with a pistol. We'll see what that looks like. Obviously, you saw my double taps there and they're all nice center mass shots in motion. I wasn't going terribly fast, okay? I can do this a little bit faster. 
Uh, but I want to show you guys what it looks like doing this with a pistol. All right, so I'm going to load up my pistol. Okay, go back in here. So I'll approach this door now, okay? I'm going to dig this opposite corner. I'm going to start. I'm going to start my pie here. Now I'm going to make that decision to cross across this doorway. Automatically dig in this opposite corner. I'll go backwards now. Slice and go. That guys, that's how you do a sweep on a door. So guys, one more quick note, listen. If you're carrying a gun for self-defense, right? You got your concealed permit and all that, that's good. But you need someone to watch your back because if something does happen, you have to end up using that gun. Your first phone call should be your lawyer. US Law Shield is gonna back you up. Now, if you go into US Law Shield and you put in the code PCT1, right? That's P Prime Combat Training 1. PCT1, you're gonna get an extra couple of months on there and you're gonna get that price lock, okay? These guys take care of you. I've been with them for a couple years now. They're awesome. Haven't had to use them yet. Hopefully I don't have to. Hopefully you don't have to either, but that's not an excuse to not have insurance. So like always, subscribe to our channel, hit that bell button and come check us out next week. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything.